back again with this final installment on the main event Mafia versus the Frontline storyline. Okay, uh, we're gonna keep riding through this. Uh, we kick things off with the Steel Asylum match. Pope D'Angelo De Niro making his debut to, um, in the Steel Asylum to air. With Shark Boy, Sheik Abdul Bashir, Kyoshi, Amazing Red, and Kazarian. Now, I, I brought back Kazarian a little while ago. And yeah, he's back. We keep going through this. Uh, and there's a lot of high risk, uh, a lot of back and forth action. Uh, at one point, I'd even have it looked like the Pope was going to win. Even have it at a point where I'd have Shark Boy really close to winning, just because I really like Shark Boy, and I would do that. Uh, pretty much, I'd have Shika Dulbashir and Kiyoshi working together, trying to take people down. But I wouldn't have them come close to winning at any real point. But yeah. And we've got Amazing Red, he'd be another one getting close to winning and coming up short. Uh, and, but I'd have Kazarian win. On. Uh, tag Team Elimination Tables match for the number one contendership at No Surrender. So, this one, uh, a lot of back and forth. And here's the order of, of elimination who would be eliminated. <laughs> Alright. Brother Ray puts Consequences Creed through a table. Doug Williams puts Booker T through a table. Bru and Brutus Magnus puts Devon through the table. So the British Invasion is the ones going on to victory. X Division titled Eric Young with Rob Terry taking on Daniels. Uh, I think this one would probably be a pretty quick match. Um, but I think Eric Young at this time was pretty good, so, oh, uh, yeah, uh, and this is the only one without a stipulation, hmm, uh, because I think, I think, um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't put a stipulation with this one, I thought I did, but, okay, uh, Eric Young pins Daniels after... Oh, Ro Rob Terry hits him with a chair while the referee is distracted. Okay. Uh, knockout's title. Uh, again, this is just a break in the action, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, Awesome Kong taking on ODB. Uh, I haven't put it in here, but I'm pretty sure I'm having an Awesome Kong win that match. Uh, yeah. Gee whiz, I didn't... Yeah, obviously I did, uh, but... Yep, mm, okay. Uh, Legends titles, Samoa Joe, Matt Morgan, and Kevin, Na Kevin Nash and Rhino, all in a street fight. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Joe wins by making Nash tap. A lot of back and forth. I know I keep saying that, uh, but if you have that in a match, usually it's pretty interesting. And you got four guys in there. Uh, you got the two big guys, but uh, one of those big guys can at least move around it pretty well. Uh, you got Rhino; he can move around pretty well. You got Joe; he can, uh, and man, he can move for a man his size. So you got you got three. Re really big guys, one pretty big guy. Um, maybe not in height, but man, Rhino was pretty good for his time. Uh, Ultimate X for the tag team championships. Uh, Mo City Machine Guns versus Beer Money. Um, yeah, just a uh, great match. Um, I'd ha I think it was like a year later that they had they had this match. I'd just say copy paste that a little, a little bit earlier. Uh, 
Okay. I'm uh, in the home stretch now. First blood match for. Uh, and it's Jeff Jarrett versus Mick Foley. <coughs> and the new guy in the um, main event mafia. And you got Jeff Jarrett who's pissed off at about that. Uh, and you don't want to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I'd have Foley win that. Doesn't it doesn't really matter. No, n um, that match is just for the sake that it's probably been a while. I don't think you gotta you gotta assume it's been a while since that that match has happened. So at least uh, a while, probably about ten years at least. I'd say. But yeah, uh, and you got the world title match: six sides of steel, four corners, another four corners match, uh, and it's just a simple matter of escaping the cage. Um, and this is uh, a lot of back, uh, a lot back and forth, and you've got. Abyss, Sting, AJ, and Kurt Angle in there, and man, um, you got Kurt Angle is going to go out all out. You got AJ is going to go all out. Sting's going to uh, is in there for name value, and you got Abyss who's the disgruntled former champion. And uh, there's no way that that match is not going to be anything less than four stars. And yeah, uh. I'd have AJ win by escape, uh, but I'd ha have Abyss black hole slamming uh, Sting. But before he could get the one, two, and three, AJ's feet hit the ground. So it'd be very, very close. So essentially, you'd have AJ on the other side of the cage. Uh, and he, he would see him hit the thing and it, essentially he'd just drop to the ground like he'd just drop uh, yeah so here we go um, uh, and that's it for no, uh, for hard justice we're on no we're on to no surrender now okay no surrender kicks things off with the rookies triple threat match now, the, uh, well the new uh, the new alarm the new TNA triple threat match. Uh, this is how it advertises: three guys that have been in that company for a relatively short amount of time. But uh, I, I put something up uh, a title shot uh, of some sort on Impact. Um, and you you've got you got this triple threat and essentially yeah you've got you uh and they're, they're three guys that are relatively new to the company except for one and I'll tell you who that is in a minute uh you got the pope Jethro Holiday who actually is not new he was in the company when it started uh under a different name but you can lie, you can get away with it here and say, well, he, he was there, but now he's back. If you really wanted to do anything. And you've got Jesse Neal, the, ro the rookie. So you've got uh, a veteran, uh, and you've got, you got two veterans and a rookie. So, But um, I'd have the Pope come out uh, pinning Jesse Neal because, well, nothing's going to... Uh, you know, Jesse Neal's just wasn't quite up to scratch then, but... Yeah, um, and it's uh, just a quick little opening match. Uh, then you go to Hernandez and Homicide. I'd have Hernandez win because uh, I, I just don't I don't see a lot of great matches uh, between these two. But I just um, uh, it would be something there just to get it going, uh, get that rivalry uh, on pay per view for at least one match. Uh, awesome Kong versus Tara, and Awesome Kong pins Tara. E uh, easy, no worries. Uh, uh, TNA uh, tag team titles. Um, 
uh, most city machine guns versus British invasion and yeah British invasion don't care don't get the win here they don't get to go up about for glory for uh, with the belts at least uh, then you got the X division title Eric Young versus Kazarian Kazarian wins the belt <sighs> yes uh, Legends title Samoa Joe versus Booker T well yeah uh, I'd have pretty sure I'd have Joe uh, Joe win that one by having tap out uh, it's just sorry I'm I thought I've got all this done but apparently I didn't all right now now that then the crux of the story essentially this is to essentially end the uh, the main event mafia but uh, it's, it's been almost a year uh, and but the seeds of that story will remain for bound for glory a little bit so but yeah here we go the two teams Kevin Nash Scott Steiner Kurt Angle and Mick Foley taking on Rhino Jeff Jarrett Sting and Daniels now the way I do this is I'd have uh, it'd be elimination rules the final two in the ring would be Kurt Angle and Daniels and I'd have Daniels get the pin and the reason for that is quite simply well yeah uh, Daniels needs the rub Daniels good enough uh, Dan Daniels put in a lot of effort for the company and that'd be his reward I would uh, say and I wouldn't promise him the world title but I'd promise him that uh, hey after this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start giving you some interesting storylines and uh, I know we've treated you like crap so sorry about that but yeah uh, and I wouldn't fire him so a couple of months later or let him go whatever yeah. but okay um the world title AJ Styles versus Abyss simple fact is Abyss is former champion AJ is the champion we got to have this match before we go to Bound for Glory alright uh, and I'd have AJ win alright here we go Bound for Glory uh here we go. Uh, the finals of the knockouts tag title uh, thing. Uh, okay. You got the beautiful people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. Uh, and you've got Alyssa Flash and Daphne. And I would have Alyssa Flash get the pin here. Because, uh, yeah. I know, I know what talent she's got, and I know what talent Daphne's got. But later on down the line, I'd have the beautiful people get the uh, get their the belts, um, just because they're an actual tag team. Uh, Legends title. Uh, Eric Young feels he wants the belt. So does Matt Morgan. Still feels he has got the belt. He's clawed his way back to getting this title shot, essentially. And Joe is just going there. For it. Uh, but Matt Morgan manages to pin Eric Young while Rob Terry is distracted outside with Samoa Joe. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that. Um, TNA Tag Team Titles. Um, Most City Machine Guns versus Booker T and Scott Steiner. Well, Booker T was leaving, so he gets the pin. But uh, he gets pinned by, by Chris Sabin. Uh, well, no, actually, Shelly does it. Oh, there we go. Uh, X Division title, Kazarian versus Daniels. Uh, here's the first part of his reward. Uh, I wouldn't have Daniels get the win right away, but maybe I'd put the belt on him later. Uh, knockouts title, uh, Awesome Kong, Hamada, and Taylor Wilde. Not sure about that one. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'd have Awesome Kong win. Uh, but I would have liked to have put the belt on Hamada at some stage. Uh, but I didn't, wouldn't want to take the, the rain off of, um, 
awesome comic just yet. Uh, Monsters Ball, Abyss, and Mick Foley. Well, it was a good match uh, the first time around. Why change it? Do exactly the same thing. Uh, world title, AJ Styles versus Sting. Again, another good match. Why change it? Copy, paste. There we go. Alright guys, that's it and thank you for listening. I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, but yeah, I'm sure we'll get there. Thanks for listening.